All right, let's tackle that burning question. Was there really a huge Megalodon shark found in the Mariana Trench? You can find reports of Megalodon sightings on lots of websites. Scientists say Megalodon sharks are extinct, but could they still be alive way down deep in the ocean? Megalodon sightings in South Africa. In 2018, fishermen off the coast of South Africa claimed to have seen a shark that they estimated to be over 60 feet long. The media widely reported the story, which sparked renewed interest in the possibility that Megalodon S still exist. The Megalodon, or Odotus Megalodon, is an extinct species of giant mackerel shark that lived from the early Miocene to the Pliocene epochs approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago. It was one of the largest and most powerful predators to have ever lived, with a mouth over 20 feet wide and a jaw containing 276 teeth, some over seven inches long. The largest specimens of Megalodon are estimated to have measured up to 58.7 feet long, but some scientists believe the largest may have been as long as 82 feet. However, Scientists differ on the Megalodon's appearance and maximum size, and only fragmentary remains are known. Some reconstructions depict the Megalodon as a larger version of the Great White Shark, but it is actually from a different lineage of shark. In 2020, a team of researchers from the Atlantic Shark Institute claimed to have captured sonar footage of a Megalodon off the coast of New England. The footage showed a large, shark-shaped object swimming in the water and the researchers estimated that the creature was over 50 feet long. However, some experts have questioned the authenticity of the footage, and it is still unclear whether or not it actually shows a megalodon. The scientists said that the large school of Atlantic mackerel hung around their boat for about 15 minutes. They expressed their disappointment in losing the Odotus megalodon, which disappeared more than 3 million years ago. They were excited to believe for a few minutes that the mega creature has returned. Mystery of Mariana Trench. Fifteen foot and easy. Gorgeous, mate. People are really into sharks, especially the big ones. The bigger the shark, the more interested we are in learning about them. Megalodon was a massive shark with some noticeable habits when it came to eating. We figured if it was still around, someone would have seen it by now. But maybe not if it's hanging out in the deepest spot on Earth, the Mariana Trench. There are a lot of doubters out there who aren't sure Megalodon even existed. But we do know that these massive sharks roamed the oceans as far back as 23 million years ago. We've got their old fossils to prove it. When people first found Megalodon teeth, they thought they were rocks from the moon. But later on, experts realized they were actually teeth from ancient sharks. Specifically, Megalodon S. Megalodon was the biggest, scariest shark to ever swim the seas, and it's believed to have disappeared a long time ago. 2.6 million years ago, Megalodon, which means big tooth, not big bucks, ruled the seas. Most of the Megalodon fossil teeth we found are about 4 to 5 inches long, but some are huge, over 7 inches long. Did you know that Megalodon had a bite stronger than a T. rex's? Computer simulations estimate its bite at 24 to 40,000 pounds of force. With stats like that, it's tempting to think Megalodon could survive anything. But why do some people think Megalodon might still be out there? Well, there's a similar story with the giant squid. People used to think it was just a myth or extinct. But scientists eventually found out it was real, thanks to bodies washing ashore and marks on whales. Finally, in 2006, Japanese researchers caught a giant squid on camera, measuring 59 feet and weighing nearly a ton. It's the biggest invertebrate on Earth. If the giant squid could hide for so long, maybe Megalodon could too. Did they find living Megalodon? Look at the width of that thing. This is a monster. She is huge. And now she's belly side, I can't do anything. No, no. We're armed, but mm. there was a young male that one that went away. 
Okay, she's not here now. Oh, oh, there she is. Oh yeah, but I'm not gonna <laughs> shoot her. Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my goodness. What? That is amazing. So, why do some people think Megalodon might still be around? There are two main reasons. First, let's think about Megalodon's size. We think of T-Rex as huge, right? But if you put a T-Rex next to Megalodon, you'd see just how massive Megalodon really was. Megalodons could grow up to 60 feet long, three times the size of a T-Rex. So you can imagine who would win a fight between these two if it happened in the water. But if they were on dry land, I'd bet on the T-Rex. Now let's head east to the Mariana Islands. Beyond them, in the Pacific Ocean, lies the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean and the deepest spot on Earth. It's nearly seven miles deep, over 1,500 miles long, and 43 miles wide. To give you an idea, if you put Mount Everest into the Mariana Trench, the top would still stick out. In terms of length, you could fit all the states between Florida and Massachusetts in there. The Mariana Trench is so huge. Given its size, do you think Megalodon could be living there without anyone knowing? We certainly think it's possible. But there are other things to consider. Let's talk about the living conditions in the Mariana Trench. It's always dark there, and the pressure is incredibly high, up to 8 tons per square inch. There are vents on the ocean floor that release hydrogen sulfide and other minerals at a scorching 572 degrees Fahrenheit. The deepest part of the Mariana Trench is called Challenger Deep. According to a National Geographic report, only three people have ever descended into Challenger Deep. The first two saw a fish down there, proving that life can exist in the deepest parts of the ocean. Now we know there are thousands of species of invertebrates and fish. The Mariana Trench is home to strange, translucent creatures called Holothorians. If a Megalodon evolved in the Mariana Trench, it's easy to picture it as a massive, glowing shark that lives for hundreds of years and feeds on translucent organisms. But this is just speculation. In 1995, filmmaker James Cameron made dives to the wreck of the Titanic, and in 2012, he reached Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench. Only three people have been there. With so little research, we can't know for sure what's in the depths of the trench. Maybe James Cameron and his team saw a Megalodon down there, but it's unlikely. While you might hear reports of Megalodon S in the Mariana Trench, it's now a protected area. Research requests must go through official channels. Whether Megalodon S are there or not, many people would like to believe they are. Do you think Megalodon S could still be alive in the Mariana Trench? What do you think they would look like now? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated.